It's Patrick at Pals. Well, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about carburation, carbureted engines. You know, everybody says fuel injection is the only way to go. Uh, never have any problems with fuel injectors. Well, the fact of the matter is people don't have problems with carburetors. I've got a carburetor on my 1948 Buick. I've owned the car for 11 years. I have never done anything to the carburetor other than clean it. Um, and that's occasionally to get the carbon deposits out of it and the varnish out of it. So regular maintenance, just like you clean fuel injectors regularly, is what a carburetor needs. You know, people say you have to tune a carburetor, you know, once a month they get out of tune. That's just not the case. Carburetor will stay in tune until the parts and pieces in it get, get uh, gummed up or carboned up or they wear out carburetors are great vehicles great great for vehicles they're very fuel efficient and they do exactly what you tell them to do um, fuel injection when did it come about well it came about in the 1930s they began using it on diesels and that's when fuel injection and its mechanical fuel injection at that point became available Petrol engines or gasoline wasn't until the early 50s, but it was all mechanically done. And the reason it wasn't as popular as a carburetor was because we did not have the standalone management that we have now. Now we have a computer which will tell that fuel injection system when to give fuel, when to give air, how to adjust the timing. So if you've got a carburetor and you want it to run right, Bring it to PALS. See you soon.